And in this video, I'll be talking about the Chicago Bears, Minnesota Vikings. Uh, let's get started. Bears and Vikings, last game of the season, week 17. There is some implications in this game coming up. The scenarios go like this. The Bears need a win and a Rams loss to get the second round, to get the, to get the uh, second seed in the playoffs and get a and get a first round bye into the second round. A Bears win and a Rams win, that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The Bears will still be the number three seed if they win and the Rams win. Um, Minnesota Vikings, if they beat us Sunday, they're in. But if the Bears beat Minnesota and Philadelphia wins, Philadelphia's in. And there's some scenario that the Seahawks could possibly go down to the to the sixth seed. It's a possibility that could happen, but I don't I don't think that's not too likely going to happen. But the, this is a very crucial game for the Bears. Um, we know the Bears is going to be playing their starters in the game. If the Rams have like a huge lead over the Cardinals. I have a hunch that the Bears is going to be taking out some key players out. If the score is like way out of hand, then I could see the Bears taking out some of their players out. But if there is a close game between the Rams and the Cardinals, the Bears is just going to go full out, full Brunel in the game. The only chance that Minnesota has a chance to win this game is is that the Bears can remove their players if they're not going to be able to get the number. That means the Bears will get the number three seed, and that means Minnesota will win. Then we have to play the Minnesota Vikings on the you know, wild card weekend. And those typically don't look too good when you play a team three times in one season. Just think of what happened back in 2010 when the Bears won the division. They played the Packers three times. And what happens? The Packers squeaked in by the Bears getting Green Bay to squeak into the playoffs. They were on the verge of not getting in. If the Bears would have won, Green Bay would have been out. Then they go to the NFC Championship game. We lost that game. So there's a very good hunch of the reason why we got to prevent the Minnesota Vikings from winning. And we got to take it that the Philadelphia Eagles. I'd rather go face the Eagles than play Minnesota because I have a hunch that if we would play Minnesota again, the outcome could be a little different. But that this is here nor there. But uh, what we what the Bears has to do is not to turn over the football. Don't turn over the football. Uh, run the ball. We got to constantly run the ball. We got to constantly get... Long drives, keep the Minnesota, keep the Minnesota off the field, the offense off the field. We gotta do that. Defense, I'm not too worried about defense. Our defense will be fine. Um, we just if this so happens that the, the Rams and the Vikings, not the Rams and the and the Cardinals, if they're in a close way heated battle, the Bears is not going to take any of their starters out. Only if it's a lopsided, then I can see that the Bears would probably more than likely take out some of their starters. And it's also said that Kyle Long was activated onto the roster uh, as well. So he might get a few snaps in and get some of the rust off of him. More than likely, he's going to be on a snap count pretty much. So that is a good thing. We're going to have Kyle Long back. So that is a plus. Um, we'll just see after things go on Sunday. If the Bears win, Minnesota's out. Philadelphia wins. Philadelphia's in. And even though Philadelphia loses and Minnesota loses, Minnesota still gets in no matter what. But if the Bears has a chance to win and the Rams lose, we'll get the number two seed and we'll get a bye into the second round. And we'll face the highest number then we'll face the highest rated seed in the second round. So, 
it's more than likely that the scenario could be it's going to, well, they got the Saints. As of right now, it's the Saints, Rams, Bears, Cowboys. If the Bears somehow get the bye, the Bears will either have to play the 3, 4, or the 5th seed. The Bears won't have to play the 6th seed. If they get the bye, they won't have to play the 6th seed. They have to play the other, whatever the lowest seed plays the number 1 seed. Whatever's the other seed plays the number 2 seed. So... So the Bears won't be playing the sit seed in the, if they get the bye. They won't be playing them. They either will get to play Philadelphia or Philadelphia or the Vikings. They won't be playing one of those two teams. They either will have to play Seattle, the Cowboys, Or the Rams, one of those one of those three teams. But uh, we'll see how that goes on Sunday. But uh, hopefully this will be a win. If we can somehow knock out Minnesota, that'd be nice to get get Minnesota knocked out of the playoffs. And that'll be good to see. But we'll see what's going to happen on Sunday, and it's going to be very interesting. Uh, this is the game is on 100. I am out later.